Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet so you can really work the feet through the floor. And today in addition to whatever you're using as a bar, back of a chair, edge of a table, even a wall would work, uh, we're also going to use a mini stability ball. Now this is one of these little lightweight spongy balls. Um, if you've not got one of these you could use a cushion just a small cushion, uh, or you can do the exercise without the ball entirely. Um, one is for a little bit of glutes and hamstrings, so you could use no prop for that. Or uh, the other one is for uh, an arm exercise, and you could use a small hand weight or just a small object uh, that you can pass from hand to hand. So if you've got one of these for a cushion, grab that, pop it nearby. We're going to be starting today at the bar. So moving yourself to your bar, we're just going to find an easy parallel position with the feet under the sit bones. And we're going to take, first of all, a little bit of movement for the upper body and then work it down into the legs. This first exercise is going to happen all on one side and then all on the other. So I'm going to start with my left hand so it's easier for you to see. Here we go. Coming into our space at the bar, make sure it's close enough that you can just rest the hands down, growing tall through the spine. We're going to reach the arm across on a diagonal and pull the elbow back again, twice slowly, and then I'm going to take that a little faster. Reach across, pull back four times, a little rotation through the body as you go. We're going to turn it into an unfolding of the arm, slow it down again. So two nice and slow, reaching forward. Try and take the gaze out to the room four times fast. It's one. Start to deepen the breathing. Start to think of that TVA muscle that wraps around the waist into the belly button. Let's take a curve up and over. Two times slow, four times fast. Here we go, speeding up for four. Making sure that our plie is happening in a parallel position. Knees coming over the toes. We're going to take siphon. Up and over. Now this can be on plie as well. Twice slow. We're going to take it four times fast. Just wait for the break in the music. Here we go. We've got an over and away. Reaching that arm out to the side of the room. We're going to swap arms with the whole thing on the other side. So we're pulling through with the elbow first of all. Twice slowly, getting that little rotation through the top of the spine. Four times faster, reach and pull. It's two. Trying to keep the pelvis fairly squared off to your bar. And trying to rotate instead from the sternum. So two slow reaches, reach away. Four times faster, here we go. We've got two more. I'm going to skip the music back. You're going to reach up and over to your bar and up and over away. Up and over to the bar and up and over away. We'll take it four times faster. Here we go. We've got a curve extend. So a little rounding and lifting through the top of the torso. We're going to take that into a side bend. All the way over to the side. Try and keep your head and sternum facing in towards your bar and not turning down to the floor. Four times. Here we go. Last four of these, last two, sit bones dropping evenly every time. Take a little roll down through the top of the spine, just in that top curve of the body. Come up again, take a little lift of the chest. Come back to the centre, go again, a little rounding of the top of the back. And rolling, lifting for the sky. Take the same thing with a bit of a plie, so maybe a little bit more curve through the spine now. Same extension, same lift, think of wrapping the glutes around underneath you. One more time, rounding through the back as you drop down in space. Little lift through the chest, coming back face onto your bar. Let's take a little pad through the heels. Pressing one foot and then the other into the floor. Think of the ball of the foot pressing down. The heel sending straight forward through the centre of the foot. So you don't want it to come out to the side, push right down the centre. But we can take that into a little pad of the feet, the whole foot away from the floor. And if that's comfy, we can pick up the pace on that one a little bit. So it becomes a little more springy. And we're still trying to keep nice and tall through the spine. Think about wrapping the glutes underneath the pelvis. We can start to take that out into a little first position, try not to let it sway, try and think two hip bones still evenly 
low, taking that crown into your parallel, stepping the feet into position. Let's stick with that theme of rotating through the legs. We're going to take that into an exercise for some squats and some plies. So we're going to take a little rotation through the leg to a first position and back again. So I'm just swiveling on all of the foot. Breathing nice and deep into the lungs. We're going to bring that to a stillness with the feet in parallel. We're going to take some little squat actions and press away. So I'm thinking of a lengthened body, allow the gaze to drop slightly and come back again. Down for two, come up for two. So we're nice and tall through the spine and we're dropping down through the sit bones, only as far as it's comfortable through your hips and your knees. Just take some little pulses down there. So we're staying down, we're just working a little bit into the quads, think of as well, wrapping the glutes underneath TBA, corset and muscle wrapping around the waist. Two more, and let's reach up through the legs. We'll take a rise onto two feet. Slowly up for two, slowly down for two. Up and up and take it down. Again, driving the heel straight up through the center of the foot. One more time at that speed. And then let's pick up the pace a little bit if it's comfortable. It's up, it's in, it's up, it's down. It does not have to be a high raise. It could be just a little way. I'm still working the muscles in the back of the calf. That's okay. We know the next one. We're going to stay up there. Let's take some little plies. We drop down. We stretch. We down. We stretch. So I'm still trying to keep knees over the toes. Directly forwards. Even parallel on both legs. Let's take some little plies. Uh, some little pulses even. Down in this plie position. So I'm thinking about my head. Stacking over the chest, stacking over the pelvis, stacking over the heels. And again, it can be slightly lower through the heels, that's not a problem at all. We're going to press the heels down, stretch the legs. Let's come back to our rotations, a few of these. We're going to end this one in a first position instead and take some plies. So now we're just dropping the pelvis in space, the back staying nice and upright, breathing into the sides and back of the lungs. And let's go for some pulses while we're down here. Staying down on this one, let's take eight little pulses. Just pressing out through the knees, nice and spongy through the legs. We'll go for a rise. We've got two counts to slowly rise and two counts to slowly lower. One and two and a one and two. Let's go for two more. And then as before, if it feels comfortable, we can speed that up slightly. So that could become a rise, a look. A rise, a lower again. Could be lower through the heels. That's not a problem. And they will separate as you come up. They separate, they come back together. Let's stay up on this next one. We'll take some plies up here as well. Oh, saved by the music. Let's go for four. Let's go for another one. And our last one. Let's take eight pulses on the end. Here we go. It's an eight, seven, six. Staying down, keeping turn out through the legs. And then we lower the heels, press away. Good stuff. If you need a little stretch out through the foot, go for it. So I'm just taking my foot over past the toe. It's a very, very small, gentle stretch. If you don't like it, don't feel like you've got to do it. But if it does help, after that flexion extension through the ankle, let's come to a parallel. Let's take one foot back, take a little calf stretch. We're going to be going with some more work through the calves, through the ankles as we take it into some tondus and glissés. Tondus, stretching the foot away but keeping it on the floor. Glissés, stretching the foot away and it comes away from the floor. Uh, so the exercise will go. It will be a point and a flex and a point. So it's a tondu, flex, tondu, a close, and then two glissés in that same direction. And it's gonna go front, side, and back. So same thing for the side, flex, point, close, two glissés, two glissés. Same thing to the back. And then we will take one glisse in each position and we will take a little plie stretch and do the same thing on the other side. So the pattern is point, flex, point, close and two glisses. Front, side, back and then glisse, glisse, glisse and plie on the end. Nice and simple. Let's take it. Hands onto your bar, evenly rotated through the legs, holding that rotation with muscles in the pelvis and the glutes. 
standing tall. Here we go. We've got a point, a foot. Two close, two knees, stays just off the floor. Take it to the side. Try not to sway too much over to this side. I'm trying to keep central through that grounded foot. Two to the left. It goes one each way. One glisse, say. One glisse, say. To the back, to the close, to the bend, to the stretch, and on the foot. Flex and point. Two glisses. Brushing the underside of the foot on the floor. Massaging the underside of the foot as you go. Making all the little muscles in there. Holding us up all day, every day. Getting a little chance to work out here. One in each direction. We're going to take that whole thing again. One more time to the front. Flex, point. Now if you wanted to at any time, you can just test the hands away from the bar. See if you can take it into a little first position. The bar is always there to help you, should you need it. Try and stay upright through the spine, especially as you take those ones to the back. It's a very small little opening, controlled by the glute muscle. And flex and pop, two glisses. Same to the side, and flex and point, and two glisses. One more to the back, try not to tilt the pelvis forward, try and keep that foot directly behind the shoulder. One front, one side, find the one to the back, and bend, and rotate the legs. Take a little lift through the spine, take a little return, close the heels in. We're going to take a nice side bend up and over, and reach away. Same thing to the other side. And we're going to take that into an exercise for a little bit more body movement, a little stretch out through the body. So keeping that first position, actually no, let's take it to a second, let's go for a second position. Nice and stable and steady, knees still trekking out through the centre of the foot. What we do again with that? Side bend, but on the plie. Over. Let's slow that down actually. Let's go two down. And one. And two, other way, it's over. Let's take a little curve forwards. And now we're going to put those things together. Well, we're going to go side forward side. So we're going to go over to the side. Take it around to the front. Little curve at the front. Take it to the side again. Open away. We'll go back the way we came. We've got to the side. For two, take it round to the front. For two, take it round to the side. Take it up and over. Let's take it back again a little faster. Over to the side, round. Think a big swooping curve with the top of the body. So the pelvis staying still, but the top of the spine curving around. One more time, either side, around. Come through to lift. Glutes and inside thighs wrapping towards each other as we take that extension through the spine. Let's just take an opening of the chest, come back around again. A little rotation in the stern, opening the arm. Heel toe your feet in to a parallel, step back away from your bar. Take a little cat stretch. So I've got bent knees and I'm going to round my spine upwards, a little pressure down on the bar to help balance. And I'm taking a little extension in my upper back. And coming down again, grounding the spine. And again, extending through the upper spine, we're going to go one more time. So I think tummy button lifted towards the spine, shoulder blades sliding down, around the other way. Come back through. A little pressure on the bar to help. We're going to come down to the floor. You can either come by your leg or straight to the floor. Take a little bend. And if it's appropriate, take a little stretch of two legs. Otherwise, you can leave two knees bent. If you can get to two straight legs, bend one and swim the opposite arm. You can do that same action, that same swimming action with two bent knees. Take the other arm up and around. Coming back around again. We're gonna bend both knees to unroll through the spine. Come back to standing, rock hold on. Your prop, whatever you're using, cushion, ball, whatever you're using today or if you're using nothing for this particular exercise, this is glutes and hamstring focus, that is fine as well. The action that they're going to take is going to come from, I'm going to go for this, or be the leg. Um, we're going to go for this pitch forwards position. So I fold it at the hip flexor. If it's comfortable to have a straight underneath leg, that's 
absolutely fine. If it's comfortable to have a slight bend, that's also good. This top leg is going to be in this tabletop fashioned position with a bent knee. We're going to take some pulses upwards, we're going to take some pulses outwards, and then we're going to take some circles of the knee and some circles back the other way. You are aiming to keep your body steady and still, stabilising the spine without sinking into the shoulders or dropping the head. So keep thinking it's like a plank position. And you might be on your hands, you might be on your hands somewhere, or you might be here. Whatever you've got to use for your space, if you're on a wall, you might just have the forearms upright. Lovely ball is going to be in this little catchy place in the back of the knee. So you might want to arrange yourself at your bar first of all, rather than put the ball in and then try and shift, <laughs> like I've done. So we're going to start with wrapping the glue of the, of the supporting leg. We're going to start with four pulses upwards with this bent knee. Here we go. We've got one and down. It's two. Try not to let it drop too low. And then we're going to take four out to the side. Open the way. Try and keep two hip bones facing towards the floor. You're going to take four circles. Here it goes round. Doesn't matter which way you've gone. And we're going to take four circles back the other way again. Take it back again. It's one. Still trying to keep the pelvis squared off to the floor, even if it reduces your range of movement. We're going to take the same thing again, starting from the top. We've got little hops and down. Four of those. Make sure you're still breathing. Make sure it's still glute driven. Keep wrapping the glute muscle in towards the midline of the body. Four circles. Again, doesn't matter which way it goes. As long as you do four, and you're going to do four back the other way to finish off. You feel that little tremor of truth. That hard work through the rest of the torso stabilizing. You may release that leg, release that ball. Woo, have a little shake out for that. We're going to switch over to the other side. Pop that ball in. Refine your stabilized position. Could be here, could be on hands, could be hands plump. Whatever works for you. Parallel leg, we've got a four. It's a three. Squeezy glute. Last one to the side. We go out. Think of that rotation, that abduction, and turning out through the leg. Separating the legs and closing again as we circle. Four back the other way. Are you still stable on that underneath leg? We're going to take the whole thing again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, go up, pulse, and then reach away. Check in with your shoulders. Are they still stabilizing your torso? Are you still managing to keep the back of the neck nice and long? Four circles either way. Round it goes. Pelvis staying square. Two long sides of the body. Woo, try not to do what I did, just lean on one side of your bar. <laughs> Four circles back the other way. Nearly done. Last one. Take it round. Release that ball. Don't let it roll away just yet. We're going to pick it up for the next exercise. First of all, we're going to shake it up. Have a little shaking, shaking. Cross into a figure four position. Take a little bend of the knee. So this foot needs to be flexed. The ankle just resting onto the grounded leg. And we're sitting on an invisible chair, having a little stretch out into the roots. Take a couple of breaths there. We're going to change that to the other side. Hands can be placed wherever it is comfortable. You don't even have to hold the bar. You can help yourself with your flex foot if you want to. It's just there to help you balance for this one. And then take it away. Shake it out. We're going to take that into an exercise in the centre. This one's more for our arms. We're going to be using our ball again today, so it doesn't have to be a weight. It could be a small hand weight if you wanted to use that. Or you could do this with absolutely nothing again, just the arms themselves. We're going to take some different actions. The only one I will let you know in advance is if you don't have a ball for the last one, you could either do two hands separated or you could just rotate the forearms. You might want to change the grip halfway through. Um, Alright, put the ball in one hand. Take two hands out to the side. Step the feet in into a parallel underneath you. Throw it tall through the spine. Think about the lats engaging on the back. Coming in and down. Wide reach through the hands. We're going to take little circles. These little circles are closing in in front of you. They're about shoulder height. We're going to change hands. We're going to circle back the other way. So just little circles opening through the arms as we go. Let's take that action. 
action again. So we've got circling back on myself, coming into the front. Got a little faster. It's five and six and change the grip, circling back the other way. Slowly taking the arms out and to the side. Great stuff. We're going to go for an overhead pass. We're going to pass and open. So it's just a nice long lever. If you want to think of it as a first position and a second position, that's great too. If you'd rather think just reaching above, opening away, keep with that. We're going to change this up again. We're going to take this pass in front of the chest. So we've got in front and open. And again, the palms can come back to the sky, or you could take it into a second position. So whichever feels more appropriate to your body today, whichever one, and you can always switch between. Feel the different muscular engagement around the shoulders and the forearms and the upper arms, depending on which angle of grip you have. Let's take it down and around. And I'm going for a bra bar and a curve, bra bar and upward curve. So we get a little bit of rotation through the forearm as well. But you could just take a long reach, little squeeze, long reach, little squeeze. Let's go for two more. We're going to take it back to shoulder height again and pass in front. And if you don't have more, just maybe touching the hands together or just coming to shoulder distance apart. Pressing. Next of all, we're going to take two hands up over the head. We'll take a little spinal rotation. So if you're holding the ball, you can take it in two hands. If you have no ball, you can take just the two hands above the shoulder socket. If you're holding any other kind of weight, just be steady with it. If it needs to come down to chest height, that's fine as well. We've got two more to either side. Slowly coming round. Try and breathe in as you rotate. Breathe out as you come back. And I'm trying to minimise any rotation through the pelvis. But if you need a little tiny rotation there to help you, that's not the end of the world. We're coming into our last set. We've got one, one hand over the top of the other. We're going to do it. So we keep rotating the ball. So we're turning it one side and the other. We can do it the same with the weight. We can just do the same with the hands out in front of you. Think about wide collarbones. Try not to let the shoulders push forwards and keep them down away from the ears. We're nearly done. Last two. It's one, it's two, and bring it into the chest. And release that ball, pop that down for a moment, shake it out through the arms. We're going to move it on into another exercise. Uh, which uses not really much of our arms. If you wanted to take a few moments to stretch out perhaps through the wrists, that's all good. If you wanted to do a little deltoid stretch on either side, holding each of these stretches for maybe a couple of breaths. And if you wanted to take a tricep stretch, that's always good as well. So feel free to pause, take any of those stretches for a couple of breaths. Um, and then when you are ready, Hit play again, come back in with us. So we're going to come into an exercise for again some squats and also a little bit of abduction again through the leg. Uh, so this is going to be, this is from the total bar repertoire. I've modified it a little bit, it's half an exercise. We're going to take an abduction of the leg first of all. So we're just opening and coming away, trying to keep two hip bones level. We're going to do some pulses in that position. Then we're going to take an abduction with a tilt. So now I am allowing the hip bone to lift away and come back. And we'll do some pulses in a tilt there as well. Then we've got the one I always forget, squat and then just abduct. Still trying to keep hip bones level. Not my favourite one. Tricky one, tricky one. Really trying to keep the pelvis level. And then, you guessed it, squat with kick and abduction and tilt of the pulse. So four different moves there. We'll do a few of each. Uh, we're going to take the feet to the outside of the hip joint. We're going to place the hands onto the waist and the other one onto the bar. Take a nice deep breath in. We're working with the outside leg furthest from the bar. Let's take some abduction. Here we go. We've got reach away, come back. So you're reaching with your heel. And there is a shift of weight towards the bar because otherwise how are you going to stand up right? So you've got nose over toes. Doesn't need to really go any nearer. This one's going to stay out here. We're going to take eight little pulses out and two. Try and keep a parallel leg as you go. Try and keep wide and upright through the torso. It's going to add in our tilt. Come back. So we're still abducting, but we're kind of abducting on both legs because the pelvis is tilting with us. And we're only going as high as we can support that through the outside.
outside of the gate without the coming a rotated leg. This one's going to stay here. You've got eight little pulses. Drive the heel away from you. Stay long on both sides of the body. Last two. Last one. It is squat and kick. Nearly forgot. Squat. Level pelvis. Told you it's not my favourite one. I always want to skip over this one. But it's very good for you to try and maintain level pelvis and just see how far that leg goes on its own. No pulses for this one. We're going straight into our tilt of the pelvis. I feel like I'm really doing a big high kick in some kind of martial arts class. Apologies if you do proper martial arts and it looks nothing like this. Just know that I'm inspired by your efforts as opposed to my efforts. <laughs> when you are done, shake out that leg, shake out two legs, take it to the other side. So either take yourself around or take your bar around. We've just got time to fit it in on the second side. Here we go. Out, duck to the leg, shift, come back. So there is that tiny little shift of weight. Nose over sternum, over supporting foot. But it doesn't want to lean into the bar. It's still upright on two sides of the body. This next one's going to stay out here. Eight little pulses, reaching away. Think about the body wrapping of the supporting leg. Think about lifting through the thigh. We're coming into tilt, return, tilt, return. So we've got the same abduction, the same opening of the leg. It stays parallel, but the top hip bone or the outside hip bone becomes a high hip bone. Leave it there, you've got an eight, a seven. Wrap that TBA around waist. Wrap the obliques to help support you. We're coming into our squat. We've got a squat. Level kick. I remembered it on this side. Wrap the glutes. Squeeze. Wrap. Drive that heel down of the supporting leg. Last one of these. Straight in two with a tilt. Kick away. Really think. Parallel leg. Two long sides. So even though we're coming over the bar, we're not curving towards it. We're growing upwards in the opposite direction. Last two. Last one. Gently close that leg down. Shake it off again. Turn to your bar. Maybe take a little noodly leg. A noodly leg to ease out through that hip socket. Changing size. A little noodly leg. We're going to come into, I'm going to take, we've got two more minutes. I'm going to take this down into a little core exercise. Taking hold of our ball once again. So coming down into the floor, gently however is comfortable to you. Now, if you have the ball, it's going to go behind the back. In such a fashion, it's sort of upper middle back. Not too high. If it's too low, you won't really get the benefit of it. Uh, it will just be like a chair. Uh, and if it's too high, it's going to be a little straining through the neck. So you want somewhere where you can find your imprinted spine, that little mini contraction in the abdominals to soften the lower back, curve it out. If you don't have that option, you can always put the elbows down. If you don't have a ball, you just put the elbows down and take that same idea of imprinting through the spine. When you are happy, and you can always put the elbows here even if you don't have the ball. Otherwise, they can be reaching away, a little more work through the core. Let's take ourselves into a tabletop. So we're going to float one leg into the air, into a right angle. We're going to float the other leg into the air in a right angle to meet it. Place one down, place the other one down. Take the same thing on the other side. Slowly peeling away so there's no shifting or jarring through the spine. So at all times we're stabilizing. The body is figuring out how best to stabilize and move. And you can again see that little tremor of truth here in my voice. Of how hard my abdominals are trying to work to stabilize here. One more time this way. Take it back down. Take it back down again. Release yourself from that ball for a second. Take a little extension through the top of the spine. And bring it back. Let's take it back down one more time. We're going to go back into our tabletop position. One more version. We're going to tap the toes down and slowly come back up. Again, the elbows could be here for a little more support if you need it, or if you don't have the ball. Otherwise, they can just be gently reaching away from you. Still trying to think. 
Breast bones are people bone, little curve around the sacrum. We're wrapping the roots underneath. Let's go for one more. Last one, little tap down. Release. By taking the hands to the back of the legs, feet drop down, curve over in the back. Breathing into the side and back of the lungs. Turn yourself around, let's take a little cat stretch. So we're gonna take a little roundness of the spine in our quadruped position. We're gonna lift the forwards again, lifting through the top of the head, lifting the belly, lifting the upper back. One more time back the other way. Breathing in, extend. And if you've got time, I would advise doing two more of those. But if you are on your half hour limit, let's press the heels down, let's come back into a pipe shape. So we've got a long back. If that means I need to bend my knees, that's absolutely fine. We're going to walk the feet to the hands. Walk in. Lead your ball, take your ball with you. And roll through the spine, coming back up to a standing position. Take it slow, allow the heads to be that far away from the floor again. And we are done there for today. Thank you very much.